What's up guys? Welcome back to JK Fishing. Today we got a catch, clean, and cook for you. Trying out a new recipe, spicy lemon, Dijon, garlic, salmon. Let's see how it tastes. But before we get to that, we're gonna show you how we caught them. So let's get to the fishing. Johnny is hooked up, 10 minutes in. Rod is popping, it's tough to see because it's a little bit sporty out here. But we are on. It's a decent one. It, on the, it looks like it's on the surface, the way the line is. Like he's almost been gone. marking like crazy on the Ray Marine. This thing's unbelievable compared to the old Lowrance. What do you think? <laughs> I'd say, yeah, feels, the big difference. This Nine rod bit. feels lighter than the 4,500 rods we have down in Florida. Yeah. So well, this is a decent fish, Johnny. I mean, it is a pretty light rod we're using. I don't, don't want to lose him. So yeah, yeah. Greg said, like, for, uh, he's smaller than you think. Good. Good. Or just weaker than you think. <laughs> weaker than you think. So that one's down to 35, so... They're, oh, oh wow. I mean, he's not bad size, I wouldn't... I'm not bad fish. Look at that rod bend, I think that rod was a warp one. One of these uh, Cabela's rods, we've used it so much in the rigger, it just got warped. Now it bends a little bit, the one with. <laughs> that's the stinger. That's that green and blue stinger. That, that's real that's nice. Not. He's gonna come quickly. He's smaller. I can get him here. Normally you want to land him at the back of the boat, but only. You got batting for a tent. The green thing. Not bad size. Not bad fish. Oh yeah. Well, he's eating fish. <laughs> Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Yeah, you better not mess up the net job, Joe. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to mess up the net job. Did I remind you of that 30 pounder a couple years ago? Yeah. 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 Yeah, the lactic acid fish fight okay, till they're dead. Holy, look at those heads. Good job. He's dead. Just bring him slow. Watch the rod. First fish of the year for us. First 10 minutes up. That's, uh, that's a good sign. 2022 is the year. Maybe. Maybe. Bring him in. Bring him, bring him in at the back. Alright. Everything's okay. clear in the boat. I give him 12. Oh, he's it's generous. No, no, no. That's 12. Remember, that old steelhead was 10 and it wasn't as. Okay, can I turn this off soon or what? Yeah, you can turn it off. Good fish. First time using planers this year. We uh, hooked up on something on the planers. Oh, yeah. You see him way out there of jumping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On a 12, is it 12, 12 centimeter, 12 or 14 centimeter deep down or pile of husky jerk? Clown or uh, this fire tiger? This was uh, like a fire tiger, I think, this side. Or no, no, this one might be the, uh, like a clown. Yeah, he's just diving. I gotta Wait till it gets close, Johnny. So the trick with the planer is. If they go dive under, you open up in the free school. Right away, and look at that, just unclips. Boom. Buddy? Boom. Hang, hang, hang. Go. And yeah. Always make sure that the uh, line is tight too. Is when you, uh, go to take the plane and completely off. Yeah, that's more than just a way to lure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The guys. lures don't pull that much. Nah, it's just a lure. You lock, no, you got him. Oh, oh my Get the goodness. net, Johnny. Uh, there's treble hooks on it. Get the net. All right. Well, that was big a mess. Grab it with your hands. The treble hook could get you. What do you think of the planers now? Look at him swirl. Oh. Clean net job. Clean. Hold them in so we calm down. We're not letting the rabid salmon get on the boat. Man. Not with a treble hook in his mouth. Not just one treble hook. Three. He's got all three. 
No. The triple treble. He's got three trebles in it. One in the fin, one in the mouth, and one in the gills. That's hilarious. All right, well, Planer's done their job. That's their first time using them. Well, can't ask for much more. Clown color, Rapala, keep diving x wrap. There you go, it's two in the boat now. Let's see if we can get some more. Holy, still alive. All right, guys, a little bit bloody here, but I'm gonna do some talking. So, this guy, we just got him on the planer. And these salmon, they're pretty incredible here in Lake Ontario because they are not supposed to be here. Look at, look how easy the scales come off. That's why we mostly keep them, sending them back. Really not a good chance they're gonna survive. And you know what, young ones like this, Tastes great. They're not that dangerous as long as you listen to the Ontario consumption guidelines for Lake Ontario. So, you know what? It's pretty nice. But, like I said, these fish aren't supposed to be here. These are Pacific Chinook salmon. They are stocked into Lake Ontario by Canadian and U.S. Uh, MNR and wildlife conservation. Right, Johnny? Yeah. And the numbers are watched very closely it's honestly it's a science these fish bait populations predator populations predator prey relationships controlling those populations and i just want to give a big shout out because the people behind that it really i really want to thank you because without you guys this wouldn't be possible lake ontario wouldn't be able to be the amazing fishery it is and we wouldn't have this fish right here it's beautiful fine lake ontario salmon so let's get on some more. Hooked up again, and it's your turn to fight the fish now. Woo! Hey, I just dropped it on the 45. You know what? I, I saw that. Oh, he's jumping on it. He's jumping on it. Of course, you say he's jumping. I look, I see him jumping with my eyes, but. Did it? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Gone, eh? Well, there goes no fish loss this year, Johnny. That meant it's pretty good. Wow, that was, uh... I saw this rod go. I couldn't see the other one. Yeah, I saw it. It was bouncing. And, uh... Yeah, I put the one deeper. Maybe it was sitting deeper as the sun came up or what? Okay, yeah. let's get this back out. Go oh, bug some. Yeah, it's a new screw. You chose that one. Yeah. On the Dipsy. This took off with a screaming run. Joe's moving the planer rod so we can fight it off the back. Beauty, I don't know how big he is, but love getting him on Dipsy. So today we got two spoon hits, one planer, which is the flatline hit, stick bait. And then and a spoon, is it? No, I think this is the uh, Freedom Tackle Cup Bait Herring. No, no. Is it? This is the uh, Green Fly? Kingfisher with the. Uh, Flash or fly. fly, yes. Yeah. So everything's hitting right now. Still on? Well, guys, bite slowed down. It's about 11 o'clock, 11.30, so it's a little late for us. We're going to head in, and we're going to see you guys at the fillet table. Peace out. All right, guys. We're back at the fillet table. The weapon of choice today is a trusty bubble blade. This is a 9-inch Johnny. This is the big boy, it's like the machete we call it. Anyways, over there, we got our two Lake Ontario Chinook salmon in their beautiful Kool-Aid slurry. And this is lake water, but it's like 40 degrees, so it acts as ice and it works very well. These fish are nice and firm, cold, and yeah, I'm excited to play it. All right, we got our makeshift fillet table here. This is where we normally fillet our fish. Let me actually him on my good side here for you and I'm just gonna dive right in all right we did not gut these ones normally we do but let's see my uh, hands were too cold to gut them I know a lot of people uh, like to swipe their salmon not us like you know to get a lot of the meat you lose quite a little bit you know if you just uh, swipe them Coming down, there's the adiposy fin. 
I'd oppose, not pose it. I call it pose. I can't even hold this thing right now. Get on the other side there one sec. Come through. And just swipe that tail off. I am on the right side. And that's just how weak their flesh is, guys. Now we start coming down into the fish. Should have chosen a smaller knife. And you know what? No. So these salmon, Lake Ontario salmon, look how mushy that meat is. This thing was kept on like 40 degree water, basically ice. And its meat is just so mushy. It's just yeah, subpar fish. No but, excuses. But we're going to find a way to cook them up very good for you as we always do. There we go. See, once you get over that, it becomes real easy to fillet. Oh, and off I tend to leave a little bit here because most of the time if you go too close, these these bones are very, very weak and you will go like this, right under them. And you'll be flying on the other side of the fish. And it's a mess. And it's a mess. So then it becomes a pretty, pretty good fillet once you I don't get that done. Their ribs are easy to go up on salmon, I find. They got they got a lot of this guy, was hung, this guy was hungry. Look at that, eh? Yeah. But this knife, very sharp. Don't need to apply much pressure to slice through. And like I said, we did not gut them. I find sometimes not gutting them makes it easier to fillet the fish. Especially if it's a larger fish because then the rib cage isn't laying flat. Yeah, so there we go. Not a bad fillet. Um, We've got to skin this and cut out the pin bones. Yeah, so we look at him slide off. He's All right, guys, we're in the kitchen now. And as promised, Joe is going to be doing the cooking today I'm out of my natural habitat. But yeah, so we got our beautiful, and I say beautiful like that, beautiful Lake Ontario Chinook salmon. And we're going to be preparing, what's the recipe called, Johnny? Spicy lemon Dijon salmon with the main ingredient, original Dijon mustard. Beauty. I know you guys love the catch and cooks, so if you guys are looking forward to this, I am as well. Let's dive in. <clears throat> so, we need about three quarters of a, ta for this amount of salmon, three quarters of a tablespoon, right, Joe? Yeah. Dijon mustard. Maybe a little more if you like it spicy. Yeah. You like it spicy, Joe? I, I like it spicy. Yeah. Look at that, that that's more than, that's one tablespoon. And we are putting that in, especially you have to account for the loss, right, of uh, Dijon. What next? We got some lemon? Lemon. Yeah, it's like a lemon. whole fresh lemon. I'm going to squeeze out all the juice. Get it all out there, Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm squeezing her. That's enough. The lemons go off to the side. What next? We're going to add some... The garlic. Some garlic? So, before anybody says anything, I did mince this garlic. I just took a knife and cut it into small chunks. I don't know if Joe knows how to do that. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm going to accept that shot at me, Johnny, because I, I really don't. Garlic goes in. Um, we got, what next? We're going to put some pepper in. Yeah. doesn't really matter the order. No, you don't have to put too much in. Yeah, but that much. Yeah, as much as you would like, Joe. Not okay. too much. We already got enough spice with the Dijon. Some salt. I do like quite a little bit of salt. There we go. And paprika, parsley. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I knew that one, but you can be a little liberal with this one, Joe. Yeah, it's good. I think it's good. All right, now I got two spoons here. I got the mixing spoon. I got the applying spoon. I'm use the mixing spoon. Stir up our beautiful sauce here, and it does look good. It smells very good. I'm excited. Let me try this. The Joe. texture is a little bit soupy. You can always add a little more Dijon. Mm -hmm. What do you say, more Dijon or what? Maybe a little bit more, but looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to keep it like that. I ain't yeah. getting too complicated here. So now we're just going to put it on the salmon. We're going to put the salmon in first, Johnny, and then put it on or what? I mean, unless you're going to cook them on the plate. <laughs> Why do you even have them on the plate to begin with then? I'm not next level chef thinking like you, Johnny. All right, so we're gonna put the salmon in. Both sides or just one? Just the one I think is all that's necessary. 
Let me get this spoon out of there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. You can get that all over, all the edges touched on the one side. And we got the oven preheated, right, Johnny, to what? 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 450 degrees. And that is it. We have now dressed our salmon. Perfect serving size, Johnny. Yeah. We're going to pop this ba these bad boys in the oven. For 12 to 15 minutes. We'll have to see how long it takes to cook them. And we'll get back to you when they're ready. We're going to taste them. We'll see what we think of them. She's done, baby. Make sure she looks cooked. Johnny, what do you think? think she looks cooked? I think that it should be good. You think it should be good? One way to find out, to break open a piece. Yes, sir. All right, we'll keep the oven on just in case, but I think it looks good. I'll come over here. Give me a fork, Johnny. Break open the thickest piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cooked all She's the way cooked through. cooked all the way through. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to put this on a plate. We're going to try it. All right. So as you guys saw from that cooking section, Joe does not know his way around the kitchen. So I'm going to try this and see if I can stomach it. Okay, I'm thinking that the recipe is going to be doing, going well because I was coaching Joe the whole time. But uh, we don't know until we try it. So let's dig in. <laughs> Salmon is uh, a little cold right now because Joe had to film an intro with it. That's all I'm going to say. If you like spice, if you don't like spice, you'll like this. Not really spicy at all. I am a little bit shocked concerning how spicy the Dijon was. You taste the uh, lemon quite a bit, which is good, kind of what you want. And uh, overall, the salmon did stay really moist in the middle, which is a problem with salmon. You don't want it to dry out. Which is why I do like this recipe a lot. It did not dry out. Meanwhile, when you're cooking it on the barbecue, you usually have to cook it longer. So the salmon has a tendency to dry out in the middle, which is why we chose to bake it today. But overall, I'd say that this is a pretty good recipe. You taste the garlic a little bit too. And uh, has my... Uh, I up. survived. Joe survived. Yeah, Joe can uh, cook if he's given instructions. If I told Joe to do this by himself, I don't know. But I didn't. I told him myself, so. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on JK Fishing.